So we're going to make a souls like and we're going to do it in 30 days. That shouldn't be too difficult, right? Well, turns out it nearly destroyed our team. So how it started is we signed up for the boss rush game jam. We like game jams. This will be our third game jam. This will be Flybird's first game jam. So it's a good opportunity for us all to work together, to get to know each other a bit better and share what we know and work on it. Now, 30 days doesn't seem impossible to produce a game. It doesn't seem overly difficult. We had done some planning. We had a rough idea of what we wanted to do. Started planning out our bosses and then we started to scope creep we decided rather than talking about the first boss or the second boss or the player we would talk about the fourth boss and how the game would end and what that would mean and after some back and forth we realized that that was probably not the right way to go the fourth boss should be the last thing that we spoke about I was in charge of this boss one and taking care of the uh, base attack system. So how that works, for anyone that doesn't know, is so we've got this who is the parent and then each boss would inherit from the parent and they would have access to everything in here but also special stuff in here. So this could be fire, ice and earth. Oh, I could have gone with air and earth uh but this guy would just be generic okay so we set up all the health systems all of the take damage functions and everything in this guy and that's what i was in charge of and they would inherit all those functions from there so at the end of week one we had a boss basic setup i had started working on my own personal boss we had the basic framework set up the bosses could take damage and the bosses had a choice of four basic attacks that they could do a special attack and enrage uh, mode to active to make them a bit more fun so the health on each boss was completely customizable so one boss could have 100 another boss could have 200 etc there was a blocking mechanic on one boss already so that they could block your attacks and each boss had a hit reaction so we were well on our way with the bosses and ready to go the problem becomes that the player had one attack no hood and no mesh and nothing else disaster strikes were a week in and our member who is working on the player decides that they do not want to be a part of this any anymore and so drops out so now we are a man down we've got three weeks to go and we need to fix the player it's a rework the player is not fun at all so we need to refocus working on the player is tough because we have to understand the code that the other person did. That's not overly difficult, but being motivated to work on something is hard when you didn't expect to have to work on it. So the motivation factor was difficult there. And then family and a full-time job. So that became more important than the game jam. So the game wasn't touched for a few days, to be absolutely honest. When I came back to it, the game looked fine. The bosses were fine. It's just the player. The player sucked. Scrapped a lot of the stuff that had already been done. And we switched tact. We gave the player a combo attack. So they could do. They could press the button uh, and time their combos properly. The, the player has a bow and arrow attack now. And the bow sticks to the enemy for a certain time and it also causes uh, blood damage as well so there is a blood effect that goes onto both the player and onto the enemy so whenever you deal damage to them you should have a, a blood effect on on you or on them and we added footstep sounds to everything and that that made a hell of a lot of difference to be absolutely honest we had already had our second enemy sorted and we'd already sorted out most of our first one uh we meant to have four enemies 
and so we wanted another enemy well we wanted another two enemies to go with the four horsemen of the apocalypse team but unfortunately the third enemy proved to be too time consuming to make work in such a special way and would have replicated the second enemy a bit too much which we were really trying to avoid like we could have put in another sword spinny dude but ideally we wanted something a bit different so each boss felt a bit different there was already a lot of work still to do we still didn't have any levels and we didn't have any healing or dodges on the character so that was what was required next last week was a lot of fun uh, we knew that we wanted to finish early because we knew that there was a hell of a lot of stuff that we needed to do to get some mission ready and we didn't want to catch ourselves short so adding all the dodges to the character there was also a target lock that was added to make it easier for people like that and then we added the heals as well so it started to feel very much like a game all our footstep sounds and our decals on the floor were working uh, our combo was fine we started to add visual effects to our combos like so so every time that they swung there was something there there was grunts uh hit sounds and all sorts so it was definitely coming along there was all sorts of levels added as well to the game so we had a tutorial level that just looked a bit like a maze added this cool bat flip as well let's see the blood on him it's just there so crunch time was a cool week to say we made the cardinal sin of unreal game development is probably not an understatement our project was 31 gigabytes by the time we had finished uh, and we knew we we knew it was going to be 31 gigabytes we knew it was large because we had been dumping absolutely everything into this project we just need to remove stuff we can we started removing stuff removed all the textures removed anything that wasn't being used we removed a bunch of sound effects uh, we removed as much as we could and which we managed to get it down to just over four gigabytes feel free to play the game i'll put a link in the description and please like subscribe comment on the video if you've enjoyed it it's a little bit different than the tutorials i normally put out um, and i hope you have a nice day thank you very much